Hi guys, um, it's Marianne. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Um, this is a wrap up of week five and I have to admit that um, it was kind of an epic failure. I had a, that really great day on Monday and um, you know, um, it was one of my brother's kid's birthday the next day and um, you know, had a great day with that. We went to Chuck E. Cheese, although that was a little overstimulating, but <laughs> But, you know, the kids had fun there, and uh, we didn't eat there, thank God. But <laughs> they had fun playing the games there. And um, and uh, we were there for maybe like an hour and a half, something like that. Um, then we had like a nice lunch at a different restaurant, so that was nice. And then um, we had cake that night. <laughs> we had some ice cream cake that night. Um, and so, you know, I had that day, and, it, you know, it was a great day and everything. But the next day, I had a bit of an incident that was kind of weird. Um, I, this had kind of, this has happened to me about twice before. Um, but my mom and I were, um, out running errands. <clears throat> I think this is Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. My mom and I were out running errands. Um, we were in Costco and I just became, I mean, I don't know. I just had this, I kind of woke up with an uneasy feeling, um, and, you know, I was like, well, maybe just, you know, maybe it was just because of the, <laughs> the overstimulating day yesterday, you know. Sometimes it happens as, you know, as an introverted person, I, you know, if I, it takes me a little while to recover. So, you know, I just, <laughs> from being out in public like that. <laughs> but I was like, oh, you know, it'll be all right. Let's, you know, we'll go do our stuff and, you know, take it easy today. It's not like we need to rush. Um <clears throat> So, you know, we were in Costco, uh, we had done a few for you errands before that, and we were going to do Costco last because we had to get, you know, perishables, so we wanted to be able to just go home after that. <coughs> and, <clears throat> you know, like I said, the I was still kind of feeling uneasy, you know, just sort of like feeling like maybe I forgot something. Like I checked my purse for my wallet like two or three times. I kept checking for my phone and, you know, and... <laughs> You know, it, it was just weird. And then when we got into Costco, it was so, it was just, I just got this overwhelming feeling that something was going to happen. Like I kept checking my phone to see if I had missed like a call for something, you know, it's like is somebody going to call with bad news or, you know, if something happened, I kept checking my mom, like, mom, are you okay? You know, <laughs> thinking something's wrong is going to happen. And, you know, just, just this overwhelming feeling that something bad was going to happen. And, you know, my chest kind of got a little bit tight feeling and I kind of felt like I wasn't quite catching my breath, you know, so I, was, I had to tell my mom, I was like, mom, you know, I need to find like a little corner that's as quiet as I can find one. And she's like, okay. And, <laughs> and I had to stay calm because my mom is not God love her. God bless her. She's not great in a crisis, though. She kind of gets like a chicken with her head cut off. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, I just, and so I was trying to stay calm. I was trying to say, you know, everything's okay. Just be still, be calm, you know, get your, take some deep breaths. Everything's okay. We're almost done. We can get out of here and we can go home. And, you know, <clears throat> And so probably lay me like five minutes or so. I was like, okay, I, I you know, I kind of feel, you know, because I was kind of starting to feel like I was going to lose it or something, you know, and like I was going to start to cry or, you know, something. And I was, you know, it's like, you're okay. You're okay. You're in Costco. You've been in here hundreds of times before. It's all right. You know, and it just, uh, so yeah. And I was like, okay, mom, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm all right. And we were, thankfully we were almost done. We had to get one more thing, I think. And then I was like, and you know, and then we got out of there, thankfully. And then <laughs> thankfully living in California, <laughs> I had some gummy edibles at home and, um, I took one and that helped. Um, I ended up kind of falling asleep for maybe just like half hour, 45 minutes. And then you know, um, it just calmed my nerves and just, you know, got me to a better place and a little more comfortable and, you know, 
I kind of just needed some time alone for the rest of the night. My mom understood and, you know, and um, she's fine as long as I'm in the house. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I just kind of just say, you know, mom, I just need a little time to myself, you know. So I was just kind of, you know, in the other room and she's, you know, she was fine with that. But, <laughs> but yeah, it was just a, it just kind of threw me for a loop for the rest of the week. Um, and it just, yeah. So it just kind of took me a little bit to kind of feel better. <laughs> and I've kind of, I'm, I'm feeling better today for sure. Um, although it did give me time to think about something and the fact that, you know, I'm, I am feeling overwhelmed with my training and, um, I just decided to go ahead and make the decision and make the decision to invest in, in, um, in some sessions with my trainer at the gym. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I was with him for a year and then my year kind of ended in February and <clears throat> um, so yeah <laughs> but I haven't done very I'm just not confident doing it on my own that much you know and well you know I kind of feel like um, my running's okay you know I can I feel like I've gotten that a little bit you know, better handled. Um, but I'm not confident in that part. And, um, so it's like, you know, I really think it'll help me not feel so overwhelmed to just not have to worry about one aspect of the whole training process. Um, cause I can, you know, I can go to the gym and I can get on the treadmill and that doesn't take a whole lot of, you know, wherewithal and, you know, just find that comfortable rhythm that I am, you know, my, my body's starting to remember, have memory of, and just go, you know, <clears throat> same with outside. But when I try to go do the, um, do the weight training part that is, you know, necessary, um, I just get flustered and I get, you know, I get, am I doing this right? Is this right? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I just get, it just gets a little bit. So I decided to invest in some sessions with my, um, with my trainer again. And, um, so I got in contact with him yesterday and he's like, yeah, love to help you. No problem. And, um, so I'm glad about that. I'm glad that I no longer have to worry about that one aspect and that I will just have somebody telling me what to do. And that's awesome. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm looking forward to Monday and I'm um, seeing my trainer again. He's great. He's funny. You know, he's, he's, he's intimidating because he is a bodybuilder, but yet he is a great trainer. He's very personable. He doesn't make you feel like, you know, just because you can't bench press, you know, 400 pounds like, he, <laughs> or like press a thousand pounds like he can that, you know, your fitness is any less, but you know, all he asks is that you just go and give a hundred percent and hopefully I do. I think he's told me I have. So, so that's nice. Um, although I do complain the whole time, <laughs> but, um, yeah, at least, yeah, but he knows that and he's okay. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm excited. I'm excited to not have to worry about that anymore. And, um, yeah, all I have to worry about is going to the running and finding the time for my long runs. And that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I do learn. I do need to learn to say no occasionally though, to people who ask things of me, but I'm working on that. <laughs> but yeah. So while the week started out good, some, that event happened and then, you know, it just kind of took me a little time to get over it, but yet it did give me time to think about and make a positive decision for this next week and just <laughs> super excited that, you know, it's, it's, um, something I don't have to worry about anymore. And then I don't feel like I'm training alone necessarily as well, you know, which is kind of, you know, good. It's good for the mentality, I think that I'll have at least somebody there helping me along the way do some of the stuff. <laughs> um, 
yeah, so, so yeah, looking forward to, to Monday, meeting with my trainer and getting everything all sorted out and ready to go. And then, um, on, um, you know, we'll go from there. And I still, ugh, I'm still scared to run more than six and a half miles. I really am. I just don't know if I'm able to, to do it yet. <laughs> Which is horrible, because, gosh, it's going to be here before I know it, and then, uh, but, but I can do it. I've just got to set my mind to it, and go do it, and, <sighs> but anyway, I just wanted to report in at the end of this week, at the end of week five, um, new developments, positive ones that I've decided on for week six and um yeah i will see you again monday to report it <laughs> talk about um uh, my meeting with my trainer and um if he has anything new or if he's just gonna be mean to me and <laughs> like he usually is <laughs> i i tell him all the time i was like god you're so mean today <laughs> he's not really i just tease him but <laughs> but um yeah so yeah positive things for for next week excited about them actually and yeah so let's just keep I'm just gonna keep moving on keep trying to stay positive and um, you know realize that I can do this I have a body that is able to do this even though it is this size I have the body that can do this <clears throat> so um, yeah Anyway, thanks for listening, everybody, um, and I will see you again um, Monday just to kind of give you a little overview of what happened with my trainer, and then, um, yeah, new start to a new week to be positive and to keep making those changes and moving forward. So, yeah. So, thanks for listening, everybody, um, and I hope you had a, having a great weekend, and um, I shall see you uh, Monday, and thanks for watching. Bye.